So I was at the party store the other day and I came across Four Loco pregame. I've never had this before. I don't even know what this is. I mean, obviously I've had the Four Loco cans. So let's find out how many Four Loco pregames it takes to hit 0.08. So there's only three different flavors of this Four Loco pregame, apparently, or at least that I was able to find. This particular one is Lemonade. It's 13.9% alcohol to volume. It is 6.8 fluid ounces. It says it's a malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. So like all my other challenges, I'm gonna chug this thing. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then breathalyze, see where I'm at, all the way to I hit 0.08. Oh, that smells rough. Jesus. I think I immediately regret this because this doesn't smell good. Awesome. Way to put yourself in another wacky situation. Cool, man. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, that's bad. I only drank half of it. And, ooh. There's like a... <sighs> okay. All right, Carl, come on. You got this, you got this. All right, <clears throat> the first pregame for Loco is done. We're gonna give it 15 minutes. <clears throat> All right, it's been 15 minutes. 0 0.009, oh boy. I don't know if I bought enough of these things. Well, that's not good. It had the name Four Loco on it, so I assumed that I would just need maybe a couple, but apparently that's not the case. Four Loco, you never failed to surprise me. So I guess we're on to the next. So this one, I also failed to read the description on it. My old nemesis, Sour Blue Raz. So we're doing this again. It's sour. How did I miss that? Again, Carl, read the descriptions. This one, also 13.9%. Hopefully this one tastes better than the lemonade. This one kind of smells like window cleaner, actually. I can't get that taste out of my mouth. Ugh. Oh, the, it's the, mm. It's better than the lemonade. The lemonade had a funky taste. Oh, I just, I, ooh, I just, I can't. <sighs> oh. Who's buying this stuff aside from them crazy guy making stupid YouTube videos? Did this one turn my tongue blue? Oh, it did. Oh, I got blue tongue on this one. You got a brownie point for blue tongue. The other one didn't give me blue tongue, which means I don't trust it. I have no idea what was in that one. What is in there? Is there paint thinner? Could be paint thinner. I don't know. All right, so 15 minutes. I don't feel very buzzy, so. 0.022, ugh. I definitely didn't buy enough of these. Sour peach. Once again, I didn't read the label. <clears throat> oh God, people drink this stuff. Who, who's, who's drinks this? Shout them out, I wanna know. Oh, Carl. Let's give it 15. So for those that are wondering what this week's hairdo is, uh, I'm just, it's in a hat. Like, don't worry people, it's still there. All right, moment of truth, it's been 15 minutes. 0.038. That's why they call it a pregame because you're not gonna get lit up like you would with a normal Four Loco. Okay. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I only bought the three. Thinking that I was probably gonna only need less than that. Mistakes were made. I'm gonna have to improvise. Gotta be a thinker, not a stinker. Write that one down. So I do have a Four Loco that I haven't tried yet. Let me introduce you to Four Loco Hemp. I literally walked into a party store like yesterday, happened to walk past their Four Loco section. Lo and behold, I found this Four Loco Hemp that has been discontinued. I'm actually terrified. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna push me well over 0.08. Let's get weird, people. It's only 12% alcohol to volume. Best paired with junk food, 420. I mean, I guess if you're gonna have a hemp drink, you might as well advertise 420, right? Here we go. 
Well, it doesn't smell like a skunk, so that's good. Oh, God. I hate myself. And to be honest, now that I had a little sip, I feel a little gangster. It is not as bad as any of the sour ones I've had. I think Electric Lemonade is number one. Edward 40 Hands with Four Loco. Doug, you can be the special guest again. I got the splash back. It's in my eye. Still not a great, it's not a, it's not a good taste. I don't, I, I do not enjoy, I don't enjoy these. I'm only halfway through this thing and I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting a head rush. I can feel it. Oh. I can't quite put a taste to whatever this thing is. It's got like a, like a Christmas ham. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it tastes like a Christmas ham. Maybe it's because I'm getting a little snackish. Best paired with junk food is Christmas ham junk food? It might be now. Yep, Christmas ham. It's not hemp. They spelled ham wrong. Ham. H-A-M. Oh, what are you looking at? Huey, Dewey, and Louie over here looking at me like they got judgment. So I just finished hemp. We're gonna give it 15 minutes. Let's see where we're at. All right, Taco, what are you thinking, man? We getting cray tonight or what? I thought we gotta mess with this dog. You kidding me? You got a mohawk? Why don't we mess with somebody with a mohawk? I'm just saying, it's, it comes with the territory. I definitely don't have a dog on my shoulder right now. I am just me and me by myself. No dog. It's been 15 minutes. 0.081. I knew it. I knew that would take me over the edge. I'm telling you, these normal four locals, they're gonna, they'll mess you up. These pre-games, I'm not convinced. Sorry guys. I think what we learned here today, kids, was the Four Loco pre-game does not get you over the edge. But if you're trying to hit .08, you need to hit one of these. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, cheers.